Shalom, everybody. Peace of Christ to all of you. Yeah. And uh, I have to admit that this uh, Muslim, he defeated you all. He just, he just said, I don't, he just said, I don't know. I say, he did not, he, he just said, I did not say that. He just said, they, yes, they fight, but they did not fight. He just, everything you say to him, he's, Muslim is a potato. It doesn't matter what you throw at him. He play with it. It's like he, he's a, playing football. You will never get an answer from a Muslim. So you, you say to him, is your God Allah have a hand? He will say to you, yes, he have a hand, but not like yours. But who care if it might like mine or like a camel? It is a hand. So the Muslims always, they play game. Allah is no one like him, but he forget and he get angry and he is uh, he is learning and he don't know. And he think the sun set in murky water and he think that the baby is coming from the backbone and he think that women have ribs where the sperm of the women coming from. And he think that there is hail in the mountains in heaven. Allah break it and throw it at us. And he think, I mean, I can continue forever. But remember, Allah not like us because Allah is so stupid. We have to agree. Human being is a, is a smart human being, a smart creature created by God, a true God. But Allah, which is created by the pagan uh, 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 Middle Eastern, a name is exists centuries and thousands of years before Muhammad. His name is La, not Allah. He, they claim no one like him. I have to agree. And at the end of the day, you are defeated. Uh, always my advice to Christians that Muslims, they never give an answer. Instead of giving you the answer, they ask you a question. So you ask him about Allah have a shin. He say, you know, was his shin is not like yours. But, you know, uh, all of Islam is based on a human being figure when they speak about their God. He is, first of all, a human being, generally speaking, he is smart. We can prove in two seconds that Allah is not smart. And that destroys all the logic of anyone saying that Allah is God. Because you cannot be God and stupid. Have you ever heard of a God who thinks that a human being is created from a blood clot and the blood clot grow and became a flesh and the flesh become bones and then he closed the bones? This is how God he created a human being? Have you ever heard of a God who don't speak good Arabic? As if he is a Zakir Naik from Bangladesh saying, Brother Kutabrith, first of all, you are wrong and you are making a mistake. And Allah did not say that. So you ask them a question about Allah. Okay, Allah is, Allah is the creator. Is it possible that the creator, he say, I am the best of the creators? I mean, are you stupid in language too? You cannot say, I am the best of the creators if you are unique. And what is unique about God, that you are the creator. So how Allah the creator, he is the best of the creators. We know the story. Muhammad, he copied a guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah. He put it in the Quran and that make him in big trouble. So I say to our Muslim friend here, we have creator, not the best of the creators. You have the best of the creators. So either you have to admit that your God don't speak good Arabic, as all of you, including your prophet Muhammad, or you have to admit that there's many creators. However, even your Quran says that the Messiah is creator. So we Christians, and the Quran says actually, uh, how you worship someone, he cannot even create a fly. So the Quran put the rules of who you can worship and who you cannot. So if Jesus can create a fly according to your Quran, then we should worship Jesus. This is not the Christian saying that. This is not anyone. This is chapter 22, verse number 73. So anyone who can create even a fly, he is worthy of worship. So now we have a proof that Jesus, he can create not only a fly, a bird, and, and a human being, but there is no proof that Allah can create a mosquito because the creator, and we have a proof he cannot be because the creator, he do not know how the mosquito created. He do not know how the baby is created. He fabricate knowledge, which is a stupid knowledge. So I say to the Muslims, you are doomed. Allah, he created Adam in his image, his own image. Yeah, the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, oh, he meant that he created uh, Adam in the image of Adam, which is the most stupid in uh, interpretation. I mean, you want to tell me that Allah, like Allah created CP in the image of CP? <laughs> I mean, do, do you see how stupid the story? Muhammad, he copied exactly what it says in the Bible, that God created Adam in his image, and in his image, God created him. 
So Muhammad he took it, he put it in his in you know uh, 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 in his book, and now the Muslim they try to fix it. How uh, uh, how Adam is created in the image of Allah? Mm. The only solution is to say, well, you know what? Uh, he don't mean that. He mean uh, 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 you know uh, uh, description of Adam. But he said it clearly, خلق الله آدم على صورته. And then he continues saying that he created him sixty uh, arm tall. And that make it more stupid too, because uh, uh, you know why Adam is sixty arm tall, but we are not even six foot tall. That is the most stupid uh, story Muhammad he came with. Did we shrunk? Did Allah force us to shrunk? Uh, like, is it cold? Is it because of uh, you know uh, uh, environment? Do you Muslim be believe in evolution? What do you believe? So the the, the Muhammadan. They have fabrication of everything, and they try to give you an answer for any question by not answering it. And this is the this is the hadith. Let me for, uh, post it for you. You can put it on the screen, and people can see it. This right here, right? On the screen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, th there is many format of the same uh, hadith, but all of them they are saying the same that Allah created Adam His image. And there is the other one which is saying, uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, Adam was 60 arm tall, which is very funny and very, you know, crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, and not only that, you know, the God of Islam in the Quran, he said that the similarity between Jesus and Adam, he said to him, be and he was. But then when we check, we find that neither Adam, neither Jesus, according to the Quran, created by saying be and he was. So Allah, in fact, he made mud statues of Adam and he left him to dry for 40 years. And Shaitan, during that time, he went inside Adam from his nose and he came out from his anus. And then, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, can, we can show the reference. And in the top of that, and the, 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 the Shaitan, he told the angels, don't be scared of him, for he is empty from inside, but for Allah is full. <laughs> so Allah is full. So Shaitan, what is saying, that Shaitan, he tried to go inside the anus of Allah, but he could not because he is full. In the top of that, that Adam who is created in heaven took him 40 years just to create, to, to, uh, uh, to dry his, his, uh, 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 his mud to become a statues. Allah, when he, when he started breathing into Adam, uh, he breathed into him, but he could not finish him so fast. So it, the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا the, the human being was ever uh, uh, hasty. Uh, if you read the interpretation, even Ibn Kathir, it says that Adam, when Allah, he breathed into him, he tried, uh, 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 he tried to stand up, but he could not. So he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. Uh, he said, Allah, oh Allah, finish me before the sunset. And then here we ask ourselves how the Quran says, he say be and he was. And then Adam in chapter 17, verse number 11 saying, uh, finish me Allah before the sunset. Don't ask why Adam and how Adam he knew about the sunset. I mean, the guy is just in the process of creation. How he knew the sunset is going to set soon. But Muhammad, he can tell whatever story. And Allah, who is almighty, he say be and it was. He could not create one thing in the Quran. And here we, we have Muslims there. You can ask them later. If he can show us, any Muslim can show us, one example of Allah creating anything by saying be. As you see, Adam took him centuries to finish Adam. In the case of Jesus, he had to throw his words down and then to have to send uh, uh, his spirit and his spirit then breathe into Mary private part. And then nine months after we have Jesus. So where it was, it was be and it was. So all is a fabrication. The Quran cannot stand its own verses. And the Quran itself says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. All right, guys. Thank you very much for having me. And the Muslim is asking us to be respectful. He called us pigs. He yeah. called us monkeys. He yeah, called us nudges. Call he called like us that. kuffar. The Quran called us. Don't, don't, don't be lying. I can, I can show you a reference. Don't lie. I can show you a reference. And when you speak about respect, go and teach your God how to respect Mary. And don't say he breathed into her vagina. What kind of God? He is a vagina breather. Your God, he is a vagina kisser. And is that how you create? Is that how you create anyone? By putting your mouth in a woman's vagina and the Muslim, yes. they try to translate by saying, oh, he breathed into her sleeves. Since when the vagina in Arabic, Farjaha, became a sleeve? Nice to meet your sleeve, brother. <laughs> Take but care, guys. God, 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 God
God bless you and thank you for having me. God bless you, please. Take care. Bye-bye.